What up, YouTube viewer? If you're smart enough to realize you just clicked on a pest control video where critters are gonna get greased, then go ahead and skip ahead for a few seconds. This warning is for the snowflakes and the people actively searching for something to offend them. If this is you, let me be really clear. This is a pest control video. You're gonna see how I legally and humanely deal with pests who are destroying mine and my neighbor's property. I'm not interested in your opinion. So if you wanna go any further in this video and decide to comment and tell us how much your butt hurts, that's really on you. So I've done my job with this warning. So now let's get on with the show. on some stinky commuter train with a bunch of plebs. <laughs> no, it's like an advert for Primark in here. <laughs> no, I've just got a bonus in, so I'm having a weekend away in Prague. Tiny's at home with the kids, where she should be. <laughs> now I'm gonna seriously get my nuts in. Gotta get some little whores in. <laughs> okay, that's enough, you're boring me. It's like talking to a retard. Adios, amigo. <laughs> While the music has begun I drink to memories in the room Though the music's still the same It has a bittersweet refrain So play the song the way it used to be Whoa. I fell asleep watching Leshy 2 videos and had the weirdest dream of how to get one. It ended well though. Some squirrel dispatching and a little Russian pew pew. Man, I can't wait for this gun to come out. Make sure to sign up for the pre-order notification. Uh, at the address I just put up here. Uh, it's targeted for the second week in April to go on actual pre-sale, but to have a first crack at it, uh, you need to get your name on that list. It's totally free, so go give it a check out. This gun is going to be absolutely insane. But while we wait, let's go grease dinner in the backyard. Ed Gun Leshy presents Backyard Grocery Shopping with the ultimate survival gun, the Ed Gun Leshy. I know that title may have felt a little clickbaity, but honestly, in my opinion, there is no better survival air gun than the Ed Gun Leshy Classic. While we wait on the Leshy 2 in all its semi auto goodness, let's not poo poo on this little gem. It's built like a tank. Fits in a small pack and has the ability to take down a huge range of game in a survival situation. I understand it requires an air source, but to me, a hand pump is totally reasonable to be part of a survival bug out kit. Unlike most PCPs, however, the Leshy is actually easy to fill by hand. Um, I could take it from 0 to 250 VAR in probably 3 to 5 minutes, depending on how quick I want to go. Uh, on top of all that, it's incredibly simple design that a monkey could maintain in the woods with just a few simple tools. So if you think I'm wrong or I slided your favorite air gun, go ahead and tell me in the comments. But with that argument settled, let's get back to filling the crock pot. In all seriousness, uh, the world's a pretty crazy place at the moment. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. I'm not going to dive into that too much, um, as honestly, I'm over this 24-7 bad news. Uh, and you're probably here to see me tell some jokes and shoot some critters. Which brings me to this fatty. The temptations of the table for one got the better of him, as he sat up straight and I prepared a 44 grain JSB.
in a normal hunting setting, uh, I'd have pulled the trigger uh, a while ago, much to the delight of you guys, I'm sure. But in order to document the story, the reality is sometimes I have to wait a few seconds for technology. And that's exactly what's happening here, as I typically run down the steps from my office, flick on a few cameras, load the leshy, and then settle into making sure I've got a good shot. I'm also looking at security camera footage uh, to ensure it's safe. That's eight inches thick of a backstop, but with all the kids locked down uh, these days, I'm not about to just go full send in my backyard without having a quick look. These two were going back and forth, chasing each other off the peanut throne. Once they got that sorted, I leveled the dirty 30 and emptied out this dude's head, making quick work. Uh, you can see that it was just lights off for this guy. Um, I'm gonna toot my own horn kind of guy, but that shot was pretty perfect. I've been getting a ton of these guys crouching down like this. If you aim right at the top of their head, the pellet will destroy the brain and snap the spinal cord. It's instant lights out 99% of the time. Throw in the fact that this is a 44 grain, 30 cal JSB, move that up to 100%. Hold up, wait a second. Let's watch this one again. There's lights out, and then there's show me your O face lights out. Oh, this one just took a beating. Watch this. For those snowflakes who like to uh, hang out in the comments section and are disconnected from where their food comes from and call this inhumane, here's exhibit A, B, and C. Things go well, I might be showing her my O face. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> Right. All right, let's get one last squirrel before we change up meat type. Squirrel dumplings are good and all, but mama needs some bacon. I set up the second little perch in front of the table for one, originally during chipmunk season last uh, summer. They're like rats and that they're creatures of habit, always going along the same little trail. So one of those trails is a straight line from those rocks in my neighbor's yard through the old lady forest here right to this fence line. Um, and so if you watch old chipmunk videos, you'll see about 90% of them are right here. And this dude just gets smoked sitting on that chipmunk perch. All right, a change of meat, I promise, and a change of meat it is. This guy got smoked with a 30 cal Edgun Matador slinging 44 grain JSBs, just over 900 feet per second. At uh, 35 yards, these piggies were no match for this setup. Let's watch an attempt at an air gun piggy double. Shot right between the eyes or the ear holes, the ideal spot uh, when taking a hog with an air gun. These guns are not only powerful and fully capable, 
of taking a big hog like this, but they're incredibly quiet, which leads to situations where these land-destroying bastards have no clue what just happened, and you're going to get an opportunity like this. With an AR in your hands, it would have been full send right here. But then again, if it was an AR, that second hog would have been in the next field by now. But either way, with an air gun, you need to be selective uh, to be humane. So this story will just have to continue another night. Backyard hunting helps keep the population of potential pest animals under control. The bonus? Some of these guys taste pretty dang good. So here's one of my all-time favorite squirrel recipes. Press pause to get the full details. 